Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit Strong, and happy Hot Tuesday to everyone. Or, I guess, for a lot of y'all, it's still cold Tuesday. It's hot and humid down here. Um, I know. Problems, right? Um, today, today was a pretty laid-back day. I did not want to wake up this morning. My alarm went off at, well, my alarm always goes off at, like, 8 and 9 and something like that. Not that I usually have anywhere to get up that I have to be, but, you know, I don't want to spend my entire life in bed, so I have alarms that tell me when to get up. But, I did not want to get up today, and I was cold, and I could not get to the remote pointed right to get the air conditioner turned off. I know, again, problems. But, um, I finally just said, screw it, I got up, and made it from the hammock to the bed. And, I just laid in the bed and watched some YouTube videos this morning, and I finished the um, Amber Groomy Tooth. My walkie-talkie's got a dead battery. My sister gave me one without checking the battery level. Oh, well. Um, I finished the tooth. I've got a video showing it off. Um, I'll attach this. That I gave it to, I had to stop back by the dentist today because my tooth was hurting when it was pressure sensitive, which can be normal. Um, when, you know, after you had dental work done, you know, nerves and whatnot kind of get a little bit irritated. But what the problem was the occlusion was a little bit too high. So he just had to go in and kind of, you know, take a little off the top, basically. And, I mean, no extra charge that that was included in, you know, what was already done. Um, so I gave him the tooth. He was happy with it. He, he liked it. Um, I made, I used Llama Mama Kayla's um, video tutorial and made ponytail holders and to be honest I mean I, I played it and kind of just got a, a brief idea of how to get it started and from there just did my own thing which is kind of you know eventually the goal of every crocheter but or knitter or yarn person as as Tammy would say you know hook and yarn but I like hook and yarn and poke and stick because I knit and buy all the yarn I can find and, and can afford and I right, I crochet I collect yarn I knit and I do diamond paintings so that's my what are you doing little miss is being a little twerpy right now um so anyway so I did take that off and my arm excuse me while I forget how to speak I made put into holders. I made one, two, three, four, five. I feel like five or six already, and every single one of them has already been claimed. Um, so I will be making more. And we went. Um, my other whip that I'm doing today is that don't blink, which I don't know if that's the top or the bottom because I'm not far enough into see be able to make out what the letters are. I think it's probably the top, but, you know. Um, I need to get this done because I'm going to make more ponytail holders for the dentist, and she likes blue, so I'm going to use this blue yarn. So, But my sister has what she calls her Mexican mom, and um, we went to go visit her this evening. She's going to be having surgery in a couple of days, and she's going to travel quite a ways away to, ha you know, to have it done. And I guess her oldest daughter is going with her, or second oldest something she's got a family member going with her so she's not going to be alone and um, we went over there and then look his photo bombing you want to see little mrs ear she lets me play with them i was making a point that i mess with my cat's ears and paws so that i can mess with them if i need to at some point but anyway um we went to Mama Rosie's and hung out for a little bit and then went to a place called Rolandi's and had spaghetti, must have tried spaghetti and I had lasagna. Ate right there on the, um, I mean, on their patio, but we were, you know, take a couple steps in the wrong direction and you'd end up in the water. So, but we had a good time and tomorrow the plan is to take the ferry and go to um, Playa de Carmen and check out the yarn shops over there. Um, they have one, the wholesaler that I'm going to try and find. They also, they have a Walmart and they've got a couple 
like fabric shops that will also have yarn. So we're going to look around and see what the options are. And then I've got to make sure I get back to Ched Rowley's and pick up some of the yarn that I saw the other day that I didn't buy because I was behaving until my budget, my weekly budget gets released on Tuesday. My, my allowance basically is on Tuesday. So now I, I can go and get more yarn. So anyway, so I'm chilling out for the rest of the evening. I don't plan on doing much. Just um, working with yarn and hanging out on YouTube and playing with my little kitten cat who decided that she's going to be all nice and cuddly. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good evening and I will see you again tomorrow. I finished the, the tooth. Much bigger than the one that I had pulled out of my mouth um, last month. The It's just embroidered thread for the eyes and the mouth. I don't like the feet. These were the hardest part. I mean, obviously the hardest part of their itty bitty tiny little trying to get those things done. And I'm pretty sure I lost count in a couple spots. But, and I probably will never make this pattern again just because... I don't need it, but also the roots were hard. Um, but uh, it's cute. The dentist will be happy. If not, he can throw it away when I leave. And speaking of the dentist, I'm going back in. I'll be back there at 1:30, so they can look to see what's going on with the tooth that I had filled on my bottom right. It hurts whenever there's it's pressure sensitive, so anytime I bite down, it hurts. So right now I can't eat on it. And I know there's some pressure sensitive that's gonna be normal um after fillings, but this is a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, especially if I'm fixing to fly back to Oklahoma on Saturday. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Finally got on the Ferris wheel. I was not shaking it. They stopped it. This is like the old school Ferris wheels. Nowadays, the ones back home are the little round boats that are super safe. Here. Actually, that's not rust. That's it's a wooden seat. This is all that is holding us in. We're on the high speed, high speed portion of the Ferris wheel ride. very green car. 